Hello YouTube, this is a short video showing a new Craftsman Edge Toolbox I just picked up from Sears. Uh, this is the model number of it right here, or the one I picked up, 13 drawer 40 inch uh, black cabinet. It also comes in midnight blue which I thought was a really nice color. Uh, I picked it up on sale for about 700 bucks, plus shipping of 70 bucks. Uh, it's a 13 drawer. I had a 7 drawer just like it, a few years older, uh, but same thing. It has a grip latch with a ball bearing slides. Uh, the reason I picked this one up is I need a little bit bigger of a toolbox. I had outgrown my other one, which was only 7 drawers. And I really wanted one with a long top drawer to put all my sockets and wrenches in. And it's very spacious of a toolbox. It'll probably take me a while to fill it all up with more tools, but I'm happy with it for now. Very spacious. Uh, it didn't come with the mats, you see, or the wooden top at the top. Uh, this one I cut myself and put up here. The mats I picked up from uh, Harbor Freight. You can get rolls uh, for seven or eight bucks a piece. Uh, you'll probably need at least three rolls for the whole toolbox. drawers even with a ton of weight in them roll very smoothly uh, when you come when you when you get it it comes uh, covered in cardboard and sits on a wooden uh, pallet and you gotta assemble the caster which is very simple as long as you got the tools it'll probably take you five minutes you got a really deep uh, drawer here at the bottom you can use for almost anything. Uh, it's a pretty heavy toolbox. Uh, I would guess if you're not getting it delivered, you probably need at least two or three people to help put it in your car and take it out of your car, etc. Uh, for 70 bucks, I said I'd rather have them deliver it so I don't have to worry about the hassle of getting a car to fit it and moving it and stuff like that. Uh, it's a really good toolbox, and I would highly recommend it to anybody. And the purchase price, I think it came out to after tax and everything like that. And, you know, tax and shipping, I mean delivery. I think it came out to about 800 bucks. Uh, a lot of people would say that you know, 800 bucks is too much for a Craftsman toolbox, or too much to spend on a toolbox in general. You can get them at Harbor Freight for so much cheaper. Uh, yes, that is true. Uh, yes, for the price I paid, you can get a much bigger toolbox at Harbor Freight, but I've had a Craftsman before. Uh, and I like the grip latch where you have to lift it up to open it up. And I like the bolt bearings, and I had one just like it, so and it lasted me 10 years, and it's still good. I'll use it for something else now. Uh, but I just didn't like the quality or the look too much of the Harbor Freight ones. Uh, I really wanted a snap-on one, a nice like classic 78, but you'd be spending at least two to five thousand for one, and I just didn't want to spend that much money on a toolbox. Uh, found it a little bit unnecessary. But if you can get your hands on one, don't get me wrong, they're great investments. They even on a, even used, they hold their value significantly well. I mean, a used classic 78. You know, something like this, maybe a little bit bigger, will be about two thousand, three thousand dollars. Uh, really nice, brand new ones will run you, like I said, about five thousand dollars. So if you got the money you're willing to spend on a toolbox, I'd say go for it. But Craftsman's very good. I had one just, be I had one before it. It lasted me forever, and I'm sure this one will last me another ten years, like the last one did, if not longer. Uh, just got to make sure to. to Take care of it. I mean, every once in a blue moon, put some oil in the ball bearings, some WD-40 or silicone spray, and it will probably last you forever. Uh, thanks for watching.